Good morning, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Sunday, everyone. Uh, yesterday, we did get to go to one flea market. Uh, had plans to go to another uh, flea market slash antique mall. Kind of got a late start to the day. Plus, when we were at one of our stops, we ended up getting a giant nail in the almost the sidewall of the tire on my wife's Jeep. So luckily, we were pretty close to <clears throat> a tire repair shop. So he was able to get there, get a couple new tires on the back of the Jeep, and we're good to go. But, you know, that happens. Just fortunate we were able to get things fixed and didn't have to stay somewhere overnight or, you know, have to limp home on the on the uh, donut or whatever. So very thankful that we were able to get that situation taken care of. I'll have a Flea Market Find video here in a couple days. Did get a few nice die cast as well as some cards. Um, <clears throat> so found a, a nice card shop inside a flea market in Richmond, Indiana that has some pretty good prices and I'll share with you my pickups, but today we're going to go ahead and open up 2018 Panini Donruss. <clears throat> and I apologize if my voice sounds weird. We were just on the go all day. Uh, obviously I filmed this Saturday night, so you guys will see it Sunday morning. But <clears throat> just kind of been on the go all day. It was cold and rainy and so forth. And just obviously sinuses in Indiana don't cooperate. But we have Dale Jr. on the front. One auto or mem per box on average. Boy, I'd love to pull a slingshot card. So you got uh, 10 cards per pack. Six packs per box gives us that wonderful 60 number. Zoom and scroll. Show you folks the... Uh, Print runs of all the cards, what you can get, what you might be lucky enough to find. We got our hashtag hiding out in just about every possible location. So we got ourselves six packs. And I'm going to put the overwrap and my pack wrappers into my box to just kind of combine trash over here. Do we have a thick pack? Looks like that one in the center. Might be just a little thicker, so we'll scoot that one to the back. We always like to try to save our hits for last, if possible. Panini with a very nice job of doing the wrapper with the printing. White background, black printing, very easy to read. And a really good way to start off. Rated rookie Christopher Bell. I believe his actual rookie card is in 2016. Uh, t not Torque, uh, Certified. Got Reed Sorensen is next. Race Kings, Ryan Blaney. Looks like we're going to be in this 1992 Upper Deck Pack arrangement. Just cards going every which way. Kyle Larson with a nice uh, studio of Tony Stewart. Nice looking card. We have a name variation. JJ, Jimmy Johnson of course. 85 Don Russ Throwback Baseball, Jamie McMurray, Bill Elliott, Suarez, Daniel Suarez, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. This is an, a variation because the name is centered. You see on the other cards the name is offset to the left or the right, so that's the other way to designate the variations if the name is centered. And it also has an alternate image and the color on the back will be different as well as far as the design or the just the color scheme of the back overall. Martin Truex Jr. That's a nice looking paint job right there. Justin Allgaier is next. Perennial favorite for Xfinity Series Championship. Jamie McMurray. Clint Boyer who works for Fox now of course. Another Jamie McMurray. This has been a Jamie McMurray-centric box so far. It's the third or fourth card we have of him. MT, or I'm sorry, Kerry Earnhardt and Bass Pro is well represented in this box as well. Carl Edwards. AJ Allmendinger. JJ. So we have another JJ name variation in Michael Waltrip. So unless I missed it, there was really not even a single insert in that pack. Not finding one here. So, yeah, didn't didn't see an insert or really a parallel. 
just that JJ name variation. Go to our third pack. At the end of this pack, this will put us halfway through the rip today. Michael McDowell starts us off in this pack. 2021 Daytona 500 winner, three-time Daytona 500 winner, Denny Hamlin. 2008 Daytona 500 winner, Ryan Newman. Matt Kenseth, a two-time Daytona 500 winner. Mark Martin, who finished second in the Daytona 500 in 2007. This is NASCAR Classics. This is going to be 2005 because it has the Salute to You Tour. Of course, he came back in 2006 because Roush did not have a driver. Joey Logano. Ernie Irvin. Both, again, two more Daytona 500 winners. Kenny Wallace. Can't think of what his best Daytona 500 finish is, but he has, I believe, nine Xfinity career wins. Jeff Burton, who has a runner-up finish at Daytona in 2000, and he won the fall race in 2000. And Kyle Larson. So we are halfway home. Cross flags are out. Got a couple more passes to go. Matt DiBenedetto, who led the most laps at Daytona in 2019, driving for Levine Family Racing. A.J. Allmendinger, I believe A.J. has a third place finish driving for Petty at Daytona. Ryan Blaney has a second place in the Daytona 500 in 2017. Bubba Wallace has two runner-up finishes, rated rookie. Not his rookie, though his rookie was actually in a press pass run many years ago. But two runner-up finishes at Daytona. What do we have here? We have a Jamie McMurray press proof. 36 out of 49. It's a nice-looking card. Jamie McMurray press proof. So we'll set that one off to the side. MTJ variation. Again, the name is centered, and it has an alternate image and color combination on the back. Uh, MTJ, of course, runner-up in a Daytona 500. There's Marcus Ambrose, Bobby Allison, three-time Daytona winner, Clint Boyer, and Eric Almarola, who's leading at the white flag of the 2018 Daytona 500. Sorry for all the Daytona 500 stats. It's just kind of popping in my head. Of course, that is the next points paying race. Technically, the qualifying races pay points, but a full field points paying race. David Reagan. Denny Hamlin, Race Kings. Kurt Busch, 2017 Daytona 500 winner, 2004 Cup Series champion. Kyle Larson, 2021 champion. Of course, he was driving for Ganassi at this time. Casey Mears is next. One career win, Charlotte, 2007. Bobby Labonte, 2000 Cup Series champion. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 98 and 99 Xfinity Series champion. Matt Kenseth, 2003 Cup Series champion. Smoke, name variation, three-time Cup champion. And the 1988 Cup champ, Bill Elliott. I'm going to guess that this picture is probably taken in 85 or 80, probably 86, because Union Oil, again, I got, I got to look that up, find out when it went from Union to Unical. So here we have our final pack of the day. Our kit is tucked away securely inside. We will find out who that will be in just one moment. So I'm going to get that to the back. So we got Kyle Busch, a variation. Again, the name is centered. Jimmy Johnson is next, 85 baseball throwback. I'm going to put that one on the back and cover our relic. Kerry Earnhardt. Ernie Irvin. Clint Boyer. Now we're back to then. That's a variation. I just now caught that. The name is centered. We have Greg Alding during his time at BK Racing. A couple more cards before we get to the Relic. Kyle Larson, Race Kings. 
Matt Kenseth. And how about this? Jimmy Johnson there. And we put a Jimmy Johnson on the back to cover our relic. So is, are we going to get a Jimmy Johnson relic? That would be funny. I've not seen a Dylan boy yet. So uh, th this could be a Dylan. We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be numbered. It's going to be an 85 throwback. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And look at that piece of sheet metal. That is, uh, that's pretty cool. Wonder what logo that come off of. It is not numbered, but in my world view, that, that should be numbered. E, oh, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what, uh, decal that come off of. That is very nice. So let me find my thick card sleeve here. We'll get this one sleeved up, of course. But wow, we pull a lot of Stenhouse as well here. So I'm going to do this off camera so that, that way I can actually see it. But that is a nice, it's a nice relic. I will take that one, even though it is not numbered. So between that one, we got the nice Jamie McMurray press proof. What did we say? 30, 36 out of 49. And a nice Tony Stewart studio, plus some variations and a Mark Martin Classics. So overall, not a bad box. I, again, that uh, Stenhouse Relic, I think that's the card of the day. Maybe the McMurray. I mean, it's a nice numbered card and it's an artist proof or a press proof. So got, got some different ones to choose from there. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Again, I'll have a flea market find video coming up in a couple more days. So stay tuned for that. And I appreciate uh, the likes, the subs, comments, etc., etc. Keep them all coming in. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.